welcome to Create with Chris. I am Chris Hoy and today I'm going to show you how to paint this rustic key to my heart valentine. Starting with chalky gesso and a rectangle plaque, just going to apply the first base coat with up and down strokes to the edge, not quite all the way. This is rustic so we're going to allow it to be just a little bit rustic in the way we apply the paint. Once the first coat is on, I'm going to heat dry it and I realized it's a little more uneven than I prefer. So once it is dry, I'm going to add another coat of the chalky gesso very quickly just to give it a little more strength and color. Same up and down strokes and I will give that a quick dry. Again, I'm not going all the way to the edges. I just want to cover most of it. We're going to put the graining on so that will take care of the uneven edges. Give it another quick dry and then we can start working on the graining. For the graining, I'm using a texture brush and this is a fantastic brush to use to create some really unique uh, textures. I'm loading it with thin soft black. The brush is damp but not wet and I apologize I'm off the camera um, but I'm going to start at the outside edge and pull it towards the center and I have a very light touch almost like a uh, whisper across the surface, darker on the edges, lighter toward the center. Never start in the center and it'll just blend in perfectly. Clean the workspace so that we don't get any of that darkness on any of the other pieces. The heart is going to be just a simple base coat of tomato red and I'm starting in the center. I pull it toward the outside that way I don't get any drips running down the outside edges one quick coat and that should cover that really well. Clean the workspace again. I have a key and it's a, an old key but it looks brand new. I want to grunge it down a little bit. I picked up a touch of soft black on the pad of my finger just rubbing it over the key until I get it darkened down to where I think I'm happy with it. Then I will hit it with the Ranger heat tool to do a quick dry on it and take another look at it. I decided that it was a little bit too grungy, so I'm going to use the paper towel to lightly buff it and that will leave the edges and raised areas a little bit brighter, still maintaining that darkness down in the grooves. And that's exactly what I want. I'm going to attach the heart onto the plaque with quick grip adhesive. And um, then I decided I needed to splatter it. Loading my splatter brush with thin soft black, just going to flick it over the surface. And then I will repeat it with white. Don't overdo it, a little bit goes a long way. Need to heat set this with a heat tool. And I looked at it, I decided that some of the splatters were a little bit too big and dark. So I'm going to take a paper towel and just lightly blot it. Don't rub it, just blot it going to take the heaviness away and leave just that distressed look. The cording I'm using is hemp twine. It's a little bit thinner than jute and a little bit tighter in weave and I'm going to attach it to the back with a dab of hot glue. I want it to be a little bit toward the top of the heart so the key will hang down um, over the middle of the heart and I'm going around about six times in a kind of an X um, so that it crisscrosses in the center. Run a bead of glue across all of the uh, strings on the back just to anchor everything down. I have a heat mat so I'm going to press it flat on the heat mat to remove off the excess cording. Need to attach the key to the plaque and I'm using another piece of the hemp twine. Cut a section off and thread it up below where it crosses over the heart. Pull it up through there and just cut a section of that off and I'm going to thread it through the key to attach it. And once it's on there I'm going to tie a knot in there to keep it in place. At first I thought I would just do a bow tie there and I tried it a couple times. It just 
misbehaved and didn't do what I wanted it to do. So I decided to pull that out and just make it a knot. And I'm going to create a, a bow with another piece of the twine. And then I will attach that to the plaque. And that just gives me a little more ability to make it ex go exactly where I want it to go and be exactly the right size that I want it to be. Sometimes the twine can have a little bit of an attitude, so um, this will make it a little more workable. Take a dot of hot glue, just going to put a little dab there and secure the boat right there. And then I'm going to adjust the hanging tails so that they hang just like I want them. As I was looking at it after I got all of this on, I thought it just needed one more thing. It looked a little bit empty. Decided that maybe I uh, need to have just a little bit of a word on there. And I found a stencil. It says love on it. Using my spectacular stencil brush and soft black. The bristles are really soft. Just a little bit of paint. Wipe most of it out on a paper towel. And it just puts that word love on there. That's all we need, just that little bit. I think it turned out fantastic. I love it, and I hope you do too. Everything that I use today is available at Cupboard Distributing, www.cdwood.com. Thank you for joining me, and hope you come back next time.